There we go, there we go. 12 miles, so 20K in the bank. Making those deposits, making those deposits for May for the marathon. Gotta make deposits right now, folks. Okay, enjoying the process. We're gonna talk about that a lot today, and basically, I am trying and striving to mentally make the choice using my will to enjoy the process of learning how to live stream really well on YouTube for you. But it's not my most favorite thing to do, as you well know. So, even like today on the run, I must say, I am very excited and amped up for the Cleveland Marathon, my first road marathon of my life. I'm also extra, extra amped up for the Pikes Peak Ascent. But guess what? That is six months, seven months away. That's way too far away to be amped up for that race right now. So, just a little tidbit, maybe a little tip of the day. I personally need to work on enjoying the process more right now and enjoying the training more right now over the excitement and enthusiasm for races that are months away. So anyway, we're going to talk more about enjoying the process as a runner later today. I got to go inside, eat some quick lunch, get back to work. Oh my goodness, what? Ah, 12 miles, love it. Bank deposit, bank deposit. Oh, perfect timing. Tea. Oh, and hun, you want to show them yes. what you got? Oh, show them what you got. Best. Okay. Trader Joe's. New tea. Oh. We love you. You all, you all know how I'm maybe trying to just drink a slightly less amount of coffee in my life, and so I'm really enjoying this discovery of the tea movement. And look what True Love picked up. Oh my my, hun, you want to share what mint this is? Mint green, mm -hmm. Moroccan mint. Red Refresh, this is sort of like an orange. Uh -huh. It is black, but it's caffeine free. Yep. And then this loose leaf, oh. whoa, something with lemon, oh. mint, ginger, if you want to add it. And all of this, this was $2 and two fifty dollars and two fifty. dollars 50 Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. We love you. Crushing it. You know what I'm going to say, butter my bread, butter, butter my, my bread, bread, butter Come my on. bread. <laughs> Let's put it in. Oh, 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 oh I yep. did it. You do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the Red Refresh Herbal Tea. Perfect. I don't know about the loose leaf. I, I think that also is caffeine free, but. Money. Ooh. Oh, 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 that was cool. Little red. Cool. Dash of red. Oh, Ooh. Yep. That's awesome. Woo! So, true love, we are yeah. talking about enjoying the process oh, on YouTube like today, in training, in life, in live streaming, um. and in uh, making tea. Ah. Uh. Oh, Amen. Hey, uh, That's brilliant. Hey, uh, That's it. It's the little things. It's the ordinary day-to-day -day nothings that add up to all the somethings. And think of Michael. Baby steps. Baby steps. Ba he's oh, not. He's so precious. He's not stepping yet, but it's all about oh, he's those. Eating real food. He's eating, eating real food. Whoa. It's all about those baby steps. Oh, oh good job. Oh my. Yep. Oh, where's the spoon? Ha, mm -hmm. you, you mix it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, honey. Oh yeah, there it is. Got the speed cross fours, enjoying the process, enjoying the process, even in winter training, all right? I'm going into Ace here, Ace Hardware, picking up some screws. I'll explain what I'm doing back at the house. Enjoying the process.
again just enjoying the process i must say i told true love a couple days ago like i'm ready for summer i'm just ready i'm i'm I, and it's like it's it's only january we've got a long ways to go until the temperatures are let's say in the low 70s like i just as a runner i just really enjoy nice temperatures for running but i'm trying to be patient and enjoy the process so that's what these are for let's go show you what I'm about to do come on I've never done this before never done this before here goes nothing here goes nothing enjoying the process All right, all right, we're doubling up today, running twice in one day, twice in one day, it's called a double, and I will talk to you maybe next week. Let's shoot for next week. I'll make a vlog about my thesis behind why you should double or not double, the benefits and the drawbacks, and I have opinions on, I have an opinion on both the benefit and the drawback to doubling, so uh, come back next week for that, but the main reason I'm doubling today is to test out and enjoy the process of figuring out how to train well in the winter. And listen, I don't live in Norway. I don't live in Chicago. I don't live in Northern Japan where there's just ridiculous amounts of snow and pre precipitation. Like in Denver today, the, the roads were snow packed this morning, but because we are higher in elevation, the sun is pretty intense here. It's, it's basically all gone off of the road. So I'm still though, I still want to, there's a little bit of snow and ice left. And so I still want to test out these half inch hexagonal screws that I just put in the bottom of these old Solomon Speed Cross 4s. And basically in Denver, the Deer Creek run that I like to do, and you've seen me run there before at Deer Creek, it's a beautiful location, but there are some quite a few sections of that run that basically melt during the daytime and then freeze at night. And so it just turns into an ice rink up there. And some other runners, shout out to Keith, shout out to Russell, some other runners out there use this technique of putting screws in the bottom of their shoes. And this is not, this is not the question of the day. But I will ask, do you put screws in the bottom of your shoes in the winter time? This is the first time I've ever done this. I'm excited. And listen again, I don't live in a very crazy winter climate. I'm not in Norway or northern Japan or uh, Maine or Manitoba. So listen, this is like a little bit of a stretch for me to do this, but I still want to try it. Okay, let's double up three mile run just around Denver. See if I can go find some ice and snow, ice and snow, come on. Okay, everybody, okay. 
enjoying the process out here, enjoying the process. And I'm not just talking about training and running, but also just the little things in life, the baby steps. Listen, it's cold. It's Friday night. I'm out in the shed. It's 8.04 p.m. and I'm out here alone. And guess what? This tea is a little thing. It's a little um, luxury of life that's going to help me enjoy the process of filming these videos for you. And I just, anyway, maybe I'm making a, uh, I'm stretching the point a little bit too far, but it's like those little thing, the Kozelig of life, right? Remember we talked about Kozelig a couple months ago? It's just those little actions that we can take every single day that I think help us enjoy the process. Anyway, maybe I'm just riffing here too much, but okay, let's dive into peak races and what I already touched upon earlier today, I love peak races. I made a vlog all about peak races. If you haven't seen it, I'll try to remember to let it come up in the upper right hand corner right now uh, because I think I attempted to communicate to all of you that it's really, really important to choose some peak races in your calendar year to shoot for and to train for. However, <laughs> I get excited about racing, sometimes too excited, especially if it's on a course that I love. And so we have to temper our enthusiasm a little bit as athletes and especially as very competitive athletes so that we don't forget about the journey, right? The journey to get to that starting line. And I've realized since I've registered to, for the Cleveland Marathon in May that I've been thinking about it quite a bit because it's exciting. It's my first road marathon, but then I think yesterday and definitely today on my runs, I was like, wait a minute, this is amazing. I'm out here running in the snow, it's freezing out, and I'm just trying to really make a conscious decision to enjoy these steps right now. Not enjoy the next mile, not enjoy like getting done and drinking a hot cup of tea, but actually enjoying the steps that are right in front of me in the actual moment. And um, yes, sometimes it, it does require, yes, taking out my AirPods and just, and because when I'm, and just so you know, I don't listen to music. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I love podcasts, uh, but it's like, you got to take that, those podcasts out, take the music out and just, just be, just be all right. And listen, how, how do you actually enjoy the process of training? As I just mentioned, like you sometimes have to make use your will inside of you to make a mental decision i am going to enjoy the next hundred steps of this run because listen we all get tired you know in training we all sometimes we have injuries sometimes training yeah obviously we're not going to enjoy every single step but if we can get out of bed or maybe it's on our lunch break or whenever you're running maybe you're doing night runs before you step out your door you're saying okay i'm in the moment this is my moment to advance my fitness to my next goal, and I'm going to enjoy these steps right in front of me right now. Uh, but another action that you can take is to change it up. Don't run the same route every single day. Change it up, run different places. And I know it's not always possible because of scheduling and travel time and all that commute time, but sometimes as runners, we get in a rut and we run the same route over and over again. And yeah, maybe you're not, a, maybe you're not enjoying the runs, the training as much as you could be if you just took a right turn instead of a left turn at the fork in the road that you come to every single day or whatever the case may be, um, or for me, I've actually enjoyed running downtown in the last uh, three to four months instead of running all in the mountains or all around, right around my house. And so anyway, that's like just changing up a little bit where we're running, I think can help us uh, enjoy that process of training because we're seeing new things and that's exciting as human beings. It's exciting, it's exciting. And of course, you better believe it, process is the key word, process down in the comments. And for all the new subscribers, which by the way, I don't know, we're closing in real quick on 8,000. Welcome to everybody who subscribed in, let's just say, the last week. If you're noticing a, a kind of random word, but it's not random, word down in the comments before people answer the question of the day, basically the keyword is designed to just help get the conversation going down in the comments. So thanks for typing it in down in the comments. Process, that is the keyword for the day. And yes, the question of the day, do you feel like you struggle with enjoying the process of training as a runner? 
Do you feel like you struggle with enjoying training? Basically is what I'm asking. Or, and if you do, why do you think that is? And if you don't, if you like, and be honest, you know, be very, cause I'll be, I'll be frank. Like I struggle sometimes. I'm like, eh, my biggest challenge is time. I, I get a little bit anxious about the time in the day and how am I gonna find enough time to run that day? So I don't always enjoy the process of training. I'll just call a spade a spade. But uh, so that's the question of the day. And if you do enjoy the training, let's just say 90% of the time, like what is your trick? Teach us your ways, like, and yeah, just teach us your ways. Like, what do you do to really enjoy running? All right, and we're gonna have a lot of different perspectives being shared down in the comments with that question of the day. Thanks for answering. Oh, and yes, I will be publishing a second video today. Uh, come back, probably I'll publish it at, let's just say I'm gonna publish it at 3 p.m. Mountain Time, so East Coast, that's 5 p.m., basically giving my first impressions of the on cloud x shoes i've got a lot of thoughts on these shoes after taking them out for a good run today all right that is it i'm going to enjoy the process of drinking this tea and enjoy uh just being alive being alive right seek beauty work hard and love each other thanks for being here thanks for being here mm. so, so so if you're still watching, thank you. I forgot to talk about these shoes and running with screws in the bottom of them. And so I will take them up to the mountains, run on ice up in the mountains. I know that sounds crazy, but I make that point because one way to stay uh, engaged in your training, enjoy the process of training, is to do something different. Something maybe you've never done before. Think outside the box, whether it's like, you know, if I had sand to go run in, if I lived by a beach and I'd never run on a beach, like I would go do that just to change things up a little bit. Well, I've never run in screw with screws in the bottom of my shoes. So this is one way in 2019 that I'm gonna change it up a little bit. And yes, I'm gonna go find ice to run on in the mountains somewhere, uh, probably at Deer Creek, just to enjoy the process of running. Just change it up, change it up a little, all right. Now we're done. Woo!